Welcome to the Executive America Podcast, where we speak with the country's most influential industry leaders on the business and economic development issues taking place nationally. You can stay up to date with all of our content, including our publications, newsletters, and podcasts by visiting www.executiveamerica.com and clicking on subscribe. Today's guest is Bill Identity Managing Director Guy Main. Guy has 20 years experience in senior executive roles across major Australian companies. Bill Identity is a leading global provider of utility bill management technology. Its cloud-based technology leverages robotic process automation, removing the need for human intervention and improving data visibility, integrity and control, giving organizations control over their energy spend and utility bills. These solutions are trusted by businesses around the world. Guy, thanks for joining us today. Yeah, morning. Thank you. So give me an overview of Bill Identity and your main product, the Utility Bill Management Platform. Look, the easiest way I uh, explain who we are and what we do is to, to bring this back to uh, someone like yourself. Just you, uh, you would receive an electricity bill in the mail for your household. When that bill arrives, uh, you probably look at the first thing you do is you look at the cost. You go, wow, is it that much this, this month or this quarter? Um, but you then probably don't do much about that bill until you actually put it in your diary to pay it on the, on the date that it's due. So now let's let's just expand that to very large enterprise multi-sites who might have thousands or tens of thousands of of bills arriving each month, and uh, they wouldn't or they wouldn't have dissimilar practices to to your to your own. They would receive those bills, that they'd enter those into their AP system. They may check a, a quantum of them or a few of them, make sure that the rates right potentially and then approve them for payment. Now, what fundamentally Bill Identity does is we manage uh, electricity, gas, water, and other commodities. Um, We are able to take those bills uh, through our robotic workforce. We're able to digitize the data and explore every single item on that bill and ensure that it's correct. We make sure that if there are any exceptions, uh, we follow them up on behalf of our clients. And we even get to uh, pay bills uh, for some of our clients, especially here and in the United States. So, and they, these very large enterprise clients, you know, they can have a thousand sites or ten, tens of thousands of bills coming each and every month. Your proprietary utility bill management platform incorporates full robotic process automation. That's, it's, first of all, it's quite a mouthful. Can you explain this technology and how it works? Yeah, well, uh, RPA or robotic process automation, uh, you know, they're talking uh, in in the uh, ESOS about this being the fourth revolution. And why is it the fourth revolution? Well, robotic process automation simply takes processes that have previously been done manually and utilizes a robotic workforce to do that same process. Um, now, don't start thinking about robots in a room. We're talking about code, code and algorithms being built uh, for us in, in the Amazon cloud. So I'll give you an example of what we call a robotic worker. Uh, we, let's say uh, you get a bill from Origin Energy, and that's the bill that arrives in your letterbox. So we actually have a robotic worker who's been programmed to actually read all items off that bill It's been told where to find those items on the bill. So in looking for alphanumerics and looking for location on the bill so that we can get that data, digitize it and put it in our platform where the rest of our robots go to work, for instance, on validating that bill. So that's that's a robotic worker. It's doing something through automation uh, that previously you probably would have got on an Excel spreadsheet or you would have had someone manually entering that data into, a, let's say, an accounts payable system. So that's that's what robotic process automation is. Okay. And are there particular markets where you see as major opportunities for your future growth? Yeah. So look, we, we, uh, uh, we have utilized our robotic process automation or RPA uh, in the niche of utility bills. And, and we are unique in the world. Uh, there is no competitor of ours that is utilizing uh, robotic, um, robotic workers across the full 
end-to-end -end process of um, collecting a bill, receiving, digitising, analysing, uh, validating and paying a bill like we do utilising RPA. So, so we launched this business in Australia uh, over four or five years ago um, and we've been prosecuting our, our strategy here in Australia since then. We have since progressed and uh, our geography is under management. So we've now been operating in the UK for around 18 months and more recently in the USA. So we see we have a role to play to automate globally uh, in the niche of utility bills uh, with our proprietary tech and make uh, business, you know, manage their utility bills or bill stream far more effectively and with much deeper and richer data than they have done before. You just touched on moving into the UK and the work that you do there. Um, last year, I'm told you acquired a UK-based energy management software business, Optima Energy Management. How does the acquisition fit into your overall strategy? Yeah, if you tie into what I've just mentioned, which is the uniqueness of our, our tech and our platform for utility bills, you know, we're keen to grow and we can grow organically, but we can also grow through acquisition. And what we saw in Optima is in the UK was, uh, you know, a proprietary software platform. The owner had been managing that business for 30 odd years, built a good reputation up. His software uh, purely managed validation of bills and it was very good at doing its job, but it didn't do the remainder of what we do in terms of the bill stream, i.e. collection of bills, utilizing robotic workers, et cetera. So not only did we see uh, um, some software that, that uh, obviously we could uh, uh, replace and upgrade and, and with their expertise, obviously, and, and market credibility, uh, they also have, um, you know, some very important clients that have been with them for, some long, for a long time. So for us, it was an acquisition that gave us scale and market share in a market that we certainly want to grow into and had already started that process. So... It was an opportunistic acquisition. Uh, it had a great database of clients. Uh, it was well-considered software. And simply, we want to take those clients uh, to the next level in terms of RPA and our platform. Okay. Um, and in terms of artificial intelligence or, or AI, are there advancements in this tech that you foresee fostering future growth? Yeah. So, so for us, you know, if there is a, a tree of development, you start with RPA, you work through machine learning on a pathway to AI. So we, we use, um, and in RPA itself, there's, you have desktop RPA, which is, you know, you, utilizing robotic workers to do simple tasks. Our, our RPA is more cognitive. Uh, the fact that we can have robot workers that can determine whether a, a, a bill is accurate or not without our intervention. Um, but with machine learning, you go to the next step, which is uh, the, the ro robotic workers themselves, that there's an allowance in the code that they can start to see patterns in your data. And an example would be, you know, as we sign more and more clients, we can get um, an understanding through these robotic workers of, of trends and trend analysis. So you might have one, one particular main street where a number of our clients operate from and our robotic workers will be able to pick up where one particular site is utilizing more energy than another um, in a similar environment with a similar temperature uh, environment, et cetera. So that's, that's where machine learning can start to help and, and it, it can be utilized as this very simple example to be of benefit to individual clients. And then clearly, as we as we progress down that pathway, you know, we can do a lot more analytics around consumption, around goals, around net zero targeting, et cetera, through the use of these workers. Okay. And, you know, we're getting towards the end of our chat. Before we finish today, is there anything you haven't had a chance to address? Yeah, look, I, I think, um, you know, we're a relatively young company uh, with, uh, you know, pr pr proprietary Australian technology, uh, we are unique in, in the in the world in terms of utilizing a robotic platform in the cloud for utility bills. Um, you know, we now operate in over 40 countries. Uh, we are expanding globally. I think our customer base spend at the moment is in excess of 5.8 billion uh, in just uh, utility spend per annum. So we're certainly one that your listeners should keep an eye on. 
And, uh, you know, we're, we're certainly very keen uh, around propagating our story in the US specifically this year and investing behind that opportunity. Excellent. Well, Guy, thanks very much for your time today. My pleasure. Thanks. Thanks for having me on. This has been a production of Executive America, a division of Romulus Rising Proprietary Limited. All rights reserved. You can stay up to date with Executive America, including our publications, newsletters, and podcasts by visiting www.executiveamerica.com and clicking on subscribe.